welcome back to Alexa's wig series. Today's episode has been one of the most requested wig tutorials since I started the series, but there's a reason why I have not done it until now. Everybody is always asking me for a tutorial on how I cut the bangs on my wigs, and the truth is, I don't really know what I'm doing. I can show you how I cut my bangs on my wigs, but I can't guarantee you that it's like the right way to cut bangs, you know? <laughs> okay, well, let's get chopping. All right, so some wig styles from Rockstar Wigs, especially the kind of generic cosplay wigs, come with really long bangs. This is intentional. Super long bangs on a synthetic wig gives you the flexibility to make the bangs however you want them. So if they start long enough, you can cut them straight, you can cut swoopy side bangs, or if you're cosplaying a character that has like really unique bangs, you could do that too. Okay, supplies. A wig with bangs that are way too long, obviously. <laughs> Scissors, another obvious one. And then we have some optional things to make life easier, like hairspray, big clips and bobby pins, and a fine tooth rat tail comb. In most of my wig videos, I tell you to style your wig on a styrofoam head, but not today, and here's why. <laughs> styrofoam heads are smaller than most human heads, and the shape is probably different too, meaning the bangs will look really different on that head versus on your real head. So put the wig on to start it all off. To prep, I'm just going to comb out those long bangs and put all of the rest of the hair back into a low ponytail. For my style, I like to have these longer pieces on either side of the bangs. They help frame my face and I just think they're really cute. The point of reference that I usually use when sectioning these pieces off is parting it right where the arches of my eyebrows are. Then, to make sure that these two longer pieces don't get chopped, I clip those two pieces back to keep them out of the way. Okay, now that we are ready for the trims, I start by just grabbing all of this hair and cutting off all of that extra length First. It doesn't matter if it looks good at this point, it definitely doesn't need to be even. We are just removing that extra weight from the ends and making it easier to see what we are doing. Alright, that was just a warm up. Now, for the real trim, instead of pulling them all to the middle, I split them and do one side at a time. Cutting them straight across when they are pulled towards the middle will actually give you bowed bangs instead of straight bangs because these side pieces are being pulled further than the middle pieces, if that makes sense. For me, just doing one side at a time helps keep them straight. This very reckless looking cutting technique that I am using here is called chipping, I think? <laughs> Point cutting? Maybe? I don't know. I told you I don't know what I'm talking about. I never went to hair school. Anyway, whatever it's called, it's this upward chopping motion where you just kind of randomly chip away at the hair. I like it because it's a much more forgiving way to cut hair than if you just cut them straight across. If you mess up cutting them, or if it's not perfectly straight, or I don't know, something happens, it can be very obvious if you're cutting straight across like this. With chipping or point cutting, you have more texture and it's a lot easier to hide any mistakes. And you get to pretend that you are the chipping master. Edward Scissorhands, my fave. Make sure that you are brushing the two sides back together from time to time to trim up the middle and to compare the length as a whole. You'll definitely want to start by cutting them longer than you think you want it and slowly just work your way shorter and shorter. Synthetic hair of course does not grow back, so it's best to trim it little bits at a time so that you don't accidentally cut off too much. It takes a little longer, but it could help you avoid once it's a good length, I go in and clean it up a little bit, cut off any stragglers. I just totally eyeball my bangs, you guys. I cut the length slowly until it looks about how I want it, and then I just make touch-ups as needed. Final step is to use a makeup brush to clean off all the tiny little hairs off of your face. <laughs> and yeah, that's all there really is to it. I know a lot of people actually get really nervous cutting their wigs, so I'm going to hit you with a reminder one more time. Wig hair is not your real, actual hair. <laughs> if it's not perfect, your hair is literally movable. You can tilt the wig slightly one way or the other. You can sit the wig further back on your head to make the bangs seem shorter, or you can pull it forward to make them seem longer. You are constantly moving around, and so are your bangs. So they're never going to be perfectly perfect anyway, so don't sweat it. So after a little styling and hairspray, that's it, we're done. 
<laughs> I think this wig turned out so super cute. I love it. And that is how I cut straight bangs on my wigs. Next, swoopy side bangs. Again, start with a wig on your head. Well, I guess first of all, I'll show you a quick and easy side bangs hack for when your bangs are super freaking long and either you don't want to cut them or you're scared to cut them or you just want to keep them long for whatever reason. Take a big piece of hair that you want to be your bangs and swoop them over in either direction. Then you'll lift a section of hair and tuck the bangs up underneath that section. Then hide a bobby pin under there to hold it in place and just cover it right back up. Instant side bangs. In my opinion, they don't really look as cute as actually cutting side bangs, but it definitely works if you want side bangs but don't want to cut them. Anyway, so if you do want to cut them, here is how I do it. Again, I'm going to leave the two longer side pieces out to frame my face, which is totally optional, but I clip those up out of my way and get started. So if I want my bangs to swoop this direction once they are trimmed, I gather them up and pull them the opposite way. I know it seems backwards to cut them on the wrong side from how they will swoop, but it works and it's actually what makes them swoop. The actual cutting process is very similar to how I cut the straight bangs, but instead of working my way straight across, I am chipping from this angle. Again, cutting little bits off at a time and then checking them to see the length and the shape. And if you are wondering, I am just using craft scissors here, nothing fancy. Um, I have tried using hair cutting shears and hair razors in the past, but because the wig is made of synthetic fibers and not human hair, it can actually dull the nicer blades, so I usually just stick with craft scissors for synthetic trims. And once I reach the length that I like, I swoop them back in the direction that I want them to be and keep them there. For touch-ups on these side bangs, I go in with my scissors and try to mimic what a razor would do. I hold the piece out that I want to cut, just barely open and close the scissors while moving them in the direction that I want the swoop to go. I am not fully closing the scissors, just a few quick little mini squeeze open and close movements is all it should take. Hairspray them how you like them and that is how I cut my side bangs. That's it. Even though there is nothing professional about how I cut my bangs, I hope that you have found watching my techniques somewhat helpful and that it shows you that you can do it too. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the wig series. I hope it helps you transform your wigs to best suit you and your style and your personality. It is such a quick and easy way to just completely transform a wig, as you can tell. This wig is so much better now, I think. I mean, everybody's style is different, but for me, this wig, I love it. <laughs> There are a bunch of other videos in this wig series to answer all of your wig questions. I can't make these clickable anymore because annotations aren't like a thing now, I guess. But there's definitely a playlist on my channel uh, full of all these wig videos just waiting for you to watch them and to learn all of the wig knowledge. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this wig. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.